Alright, g'day everyone. I'm Liam. As you probably know. Um, it's currently the 1st of March. It's 7.30 in the morning, March 8th. Oh, right here, so it's um, Monday, the 9th of March, day after Triggs. Right here, so it's the 23rd of March at the moment. Got the YZF behind me. It's, it's not looking like I'll be doing many more races this year on it. So, 23rd of March, it's pretty fucked up time we're in at the moment. Everything's getting cancelled because of COVID-19. Um, orders in Australia are getting shut, obviously. People are isolating. All the races in the nation have pretty much been postponed or cancelled, like things being cancelled. Uh, at this stage, Hatta is still going ahead, but I got a feeling they're going to can that as well, just with what's happening. Oh, g'day again. It's um, now the 29th of April. Had our entries were supposed to open on the weekend, but due to coronavirus, they got pushed back to 16th or 19th of May. I'm not quite sure. One or two. So that's with the hope that they're still going to be able to run it with easing restrictions. This is going to be the second part of the first Return to Hatter video. I'm not sure if we will be returning to Hatter this year though. Well there are fears Australia could be struck down by a second coronavirus wave. The public health team have advised me to reimpose stage 3 stay at home other restrictions. Today is currently the 23rd of April. Uh, I'm not sure what the time it is. Um, tomorrow at 1 pm, 24th of April, entries open for the 2021 Hatter Desert Race. Now, obviously, 2020 didn't go ahead, so we're expecting 2021 to be pretty big. Uh, 2019 entries filled out in about eight minutes for the seniors, so I would not be surprised if it fills out in less than five this year. Um, the reason I call it unfinished business, in 2017, my first attempt at Hatter, first year I was eligible for seniors, um, I had a mechanical issue, so my bike was only running at probably half its power. That was the WR, which it's been retired from racing. Um, and by the time we got it running, so I got brought back on the trailer, I was exhausted. 2018, I finished, I was the last rider to cross the line before Chucky won it. That was the year, if you know, watch Hattie, you know, he ran back to help another bloke push his bike back to the finish line. So, that's pretty cool, but I thought, you know what, I can do better than the position I've got. I can ride so much better than that. I can ride a hell of a lot quicker now. I'm by no means a contender in any category, but I'm a lot quicker than I used to be. Um, 2019 was another DNF on the WR. Blew the motor up, six and a half k's in. So I feel like I've sort of got some unfinished business at Hatter. Um, I bought this bike last year to do Hatter on it and obviously didn't get to, so we're gonna be running it this year. Um, if I get my entry in, that is. Um, planning on it looking completely different as well. Uh, if I get my entry in tomorrow, gonna go out do some running with Cooper Turlin, who's also trying to get his entries in. He's in juniors um, on a SX250F KDM. Um, so yeah, we'll go out and do some more testing with him. I haven't ridden since McNabs, which was nearly a month ago. Uh, he's about the same. So that should be good. Enjoy the series. So it's May 2nd, we're two months out from the Hatter Desert Race. So we've got a bit of a convoy going on today. <laughs> on the way down to Hamilton, racing the four hour enduro there tomorrow. Welcome back to Cooper T Vlogs. Ooh, today we're going to be trying getting two shots. That was, that was smooth. Smoother than a baby's bottom. Oh, here comes Jacko.